we had one of those cheap single car garage um, screens for the back of our cargo trailer conversion and it was very cheap material ripped every time you touched it so we thought that uh, we'd actually make our own so I made this well actually I didn't make this Heather made this and she can explain a little bit about how it's made so we picked up some, I think it was 70 inch screen yeah. from Glenn's Army Navy and is really heavy duty stuff. But um, still flexible. But still flexible. And uh, she took the weights out of the old screen and actually sewed them into the bottom. So our trailer is only uh, it's a seven foot wide and the uh, it's a six six interior height. So, 70 inches just wasn't long enough. So she added this piece on the bottom. And what else did you have to do to that? Um, so I had to... I just used the fabric from the quilt that I made and sewed that onto the bottom to make it long enough. And we did like four extra inches um, so that it had enough give on the bottom plus the weights are on the I had to sew the weights so it doesn't flap around and then um, I got some heavy duty and what do they call it industrial velcro and it's velcro brand just to let you guys know I did use velcro but it's an industrial um, strength. So it's really super sticky. So that just stuck on right to the frame. So the, on loop, the, inside. the loop part is stuck to the frame. And that's really important because the that's loop. That's the hook part. No, that's the loop part. Well, these are little loops. It's the not soft side is stuck to the frame of the camper. Because when we go to fold up the netting when we're traveling and not using it, you want the soft side that's stuck to the net so that it doesn't rip the stick to the net and rip, to, rip it. So you didn't just stick that to the net though, did you? I did because I tried to sew it. Because it's an industrial strength sticky, it actually broke three needles in a matter of four inches. So right now, it's only and stuck on. Were you using regular needles? No, I was using leather needles, needles for leather sewing. And, but because it's so sticky, it literally would rip. But you sewed a, uh, you sewed a backer, it looks like. I sewed a binding. Um, so the, I cut the, the netting to the size that I needed, to the size of the opening. And then I used what's called binding, and I sewed it around the edge. That's this. Around, this, the, around the edge of the screen. Of the, of the screen. screen. Okay. And that's what this is. This binding, this right here is binding. And I literally sewed it like this. So so you uh, you sewed that around the screen and then just used the adhesive on the, on the hook and loop to stick to the binding. Right. And that's one reason why I wanted to use the binding, so it had something to stick to. Gotcha. So we have this little issue right here, the um, tension wire for the back of the door. And if you want to put this all the way up against the back of the door, like this, that tension wire is going to be in the way. So I measured out approximately where that wire was going to be and cut a slit and sewed that binding on so it wouldn't keep tearing the screen. And then just made a little flap so less mosquitoes can get in. So we could actually, if this was all put up, we could actually shut the door here Yes. without taking that down. Correct. So that's cool. Correct. But 
when we have when we had the garage door screen it had the split down the middle with those little magnets which never stayed together anyway but we have we put our bed in the very back of the camper and when the bed's made we're not going in and out of the back anyway so there was no point for us to have an opening and if we do need to get out this way we can just unvelcro it right so. cool Oh, and, did, and do, you want, do you want us to show the bottom with the weights? Sure. Yeah, go ahead and take it down and show how it folds up now. So the weights in there are basically just... Uh, little bars. Just little, you know, uh, probably aluminum or, or a cheap metal bar. It's not, not very heavy. Uh, if you're making it yourself, you could actually use the... Uh, uh, you could actually use, like, uh, PVC... So, Mitzi, can you stay here, Mitzi? So these are, it's just... Neighbors just got home. <laughs> so it's just um, a bar, oh, it's just to weight it down. And we needed, like we said, we needed to add the fabric because it wasn't quite long enough. Tall so, enough. Oh, I see, I'm sorry, tall enough. That's right. So then you just... Easiest way with the bars because they're stiff is to fold it up from the bars and just roll it up for good storage. And it's compact that way. As you all know, tiny camper, not a lot of space, compact is good. Awesome. That's it. Final words? Say something wise. <laughs> <laughs>